Let's imagine that you're creating a presentation and want to add a little extra engagement. Maybe you're looking to gather feedback, test your audience's knowledge, or just include a fun interactive element. Canva's new polls and quizzes feature is a game changer for making your designs interactive and engaging. But before we dive into how to use it, let's quickly talk about the difference between polls and quizzes and when you might want to use each one. Polls are great for collecting opinions or feedback, whether you're asking your audience what type of content they'd like to see more of, gathering votes for an event theme, or simply sparking conversation. Polls are all about gauging preferences. Quizzes, on the other hand, are designed to test knowledge or create a playful challenge. These are perfect for educational content, trivia games, or even fun ways to engage your audience by letting them see how much they know about a particular topic. Now that we've clarified the difference, let's explore how to add and customize them in your Canva designs. To get started, open your design in Canva and look for the polls and quizzes option under the Elements tab on the left-hand side of the editor. When you click See All, you'll be provided with a variety of templates for both quizzes and polls. Browse through the options, choose the one that best suits your audience and purpose, and either click it or drag it into your design. It's that simple, just pick a template that feels right for your project and you're ready to go. Once you've added your poll or quiz, it's time to make it your own. When you click on the element, an edit button will appear, giving you access to several customization options. You can update the header text to better fit your needs or turn it off entirely, and you can adjust the poll or quiz options by rearranging, adding, or deleting them. If you're creating a quiz, you can also mark the correct answer, which will be highlighted when someone interacts with it. But don't just stop at the content. Canva makes it easy to align the design of your poll or quiz with your branding as well. You can change colors and tweak the borders to help your poll or quiz blend more seamlessly into your overall design. With your poll or quiz ready to go, sharing it the right way is crucial to ensure it works as intended. Instead of downloading your design as a static image, which won't preserve the interactive elements, you'll need to share the design directly from Canva. To do this, click on share in the top right corner and select public view link. And then you can copy the link and share it with your audience. This ensures that your poll or quiz remains fully interactive and ready for participation. After your poll or quiz is shared, you'll likely want to see how your audience engages with it, and Canva makes this easy. Click on the poll or quiz in your design and select responses from the toolbar, and then you can view all of the collected responses in one place. If you need to dive deeper into the data, you can download it as a CSV file for analysis. It's important to note that if you make changes to your poll or quiz after responses have been collected, it may affect the data. For example, deleting an option will mark previous submissions for that option as inactive, while editing option labels will update all submissions with the new label. And changing the correct answer for a quiz will retroactively adjust previous submissions to match the updated answer. These details are worth keeping in mind to avoid confusion when reviewing results. There are also a few limitations to keep in mind when using polls and quizzes in Canva. Each poll or quiz can include up to 10 options, and you can add a maximum of 10 polls or quizzes per page with up to 20 in a single design. Additionally, polls and quizzes aren't supported in Canva docs or websites at this time. If someone interacts with your poll or quiz while logged out of Canva, their responses will appear as anonymous. However, responses from logged in users will include their names. Polls and quizzes are incredibly versatile and can help you engage your audience in meaningful ways. Whether you're looking to gather input, test knowledge, or spark interaction, they add an interactive touch that static designs just can't provide. For example, you might create a poll to crowdsource ideas for your next product or event. You could add a quiz to a presentation to keep your audience involved and test their understanding of key points. Or you could use a poll to make your next team meeting more interactive, like asking for feedback on proposed ideas. By using polls and quizzes thoughtfully, Hopefully, you can add value to your designs and connect with your audience on a deeper level. If you haven't yet upgraded to Canva Pro, I encourage you to give it a try. Learn more about how to get a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro at brendacadman.com forward slash pro.